Hey guys, welcome back to the Vili Mars channel. Mm -hmm. We are here. We have our another box. You know, we love this box. We have the uh, Universal Yums. We've got our Super Yums box. It's the biggest size they have. You got the Yums box, the Yum Yum box, and the Super Yum box. <laughs> Let's jump in. This month, it says the birthplace of Van Gogh. And that would be the Netherlands. How interesting is that? And I like they uh, really got a little uh, facelift with this here. It's usually the flag on there, but now we have the facts that were on the back here. We have the facts, we have some um, facts on there, so. And they changed this side as well. The setup of how you rate your snacks. So that's really neat, I like that. I like this better than the flags, to be honest with you. I always just threw that away anyways. So, and then we have our booklet here. Booklet has everything we needed to know about everything in this box and some pretty interesting facts about the country. Um, some music you can listen to from there. They have recipes, food. We've got a little bit of trivia. And um, I always learn so much from these boxes. So, he's not feeling too good, but he's gonna be a trooper today and he's going to hang in there. And for you guys, he's gonna bear through and eat this food. So, let's cheer him on as we make it through. Um, it's not feeling too good, so I'm gonna give him, give him some yummy snacks and send him to take a nap happy. So, all right, let's um, start off here in the box with our first snack. Now, I know I see lots of gummies here. Here we have Cadillac gummies, uh, berry flavored soft gummy candies, but they don't feel very soft. Um, you know, famous Dutch. I thought they were drops made by fish. famous Dutch confectionery. So, I don't like oh, <laughs> they smell amazing. Strawberry, cherry, and black currant flavors. Let's let's try and dump them out so we can. See the, the yeah the black currant we tried before. Now I don't know what the difference is. This is obviously a different color from these. You see the color difference there. Ah, the background kind of helps. You can see it with that. The other ones they all look the same color to be honest with you. So um, I don't know what the difference between the strawberry cherry and the black currants are, but because they do look the same. But, you want your own gummy or you want to go have these? Mm. Oh, I think this is strawberry. It is really chewy. I don't know what flavor I have. Strawberry. Yeah. Let me put these up. Yeah, it is really good. They're not like gummy bears or gummy worms. They're almost like Swedish fish, like the gummy, gummy. The texture of Swedish fish. Because it's a harder, tacky gummy. It doesn't break up like a Hasbro gummy. Like you could rip a crown off. Or Haribo. Haribo, not Hasbro. <laughs> But, um, no, I'd probably give them a nine. They're really good for gummies. And I love gummies. So, you have the Auto Drop Cadillacs. There's another word up there that I can't pronounce that. That's what that face was there. But let's move along. We're just going to go in order of what they have in the book. 
So, um, we have some paprika flavored corn crisp. Last thing I liked about was paprika was uh, the paprika peanuts from my. Like, oh, uh, the, yeah. Those are really good. Pine nuts, Brazil, I think. Paprika pine nuts. I don't, I don't know. I was asking. Here we go. Let me flip that around so you can see. You want to do your famous break in front of the camera? You can hear it. Oh, yeah. Very paprika smelling. You know, paprika, it sticks on you. It really does. It's a strong smell. Personally, I don't this. Okay. Kind of sweet. It does smell like Crispy. Does it taste sweet to you? Yeah. Like a sweet aftertaste? Definitely tastes paprika. But um I mean really good. Uh probably an eight out of ten. Taste of Cuba. So. Swing and taste of Cuba. What do we have next? Oh yeah, I said that was an eight. What do you give it? I give it an eight. It's a traditionally used described food. It means yummy or tasty. I agree. Let's go on. Roca. Puff pastry biscuit. Oh, yeah. Gouda. So, thank you, Netherlands, for Gouda. Yeah. Do you like Gouda? What is your favorite cheese? American, go in the comment section and let me know. American, cheddar, gouda, mozzarella. I like mozzarella. Depending on what I'm eating, but I probably mozzarella is my mozzarella my favorite. Parmesan. Yeah. As far as flavor-wise. Okay, well that looks definitely is one of those things where it looks like the picture. You can see it's ridges. It's a puff pastry. It's very light. What does it smell? Oh, it kind of stinks. The texture is good. Kind of melts in your mouth. It's like eating a goldfish, but ah, yeah. But with the the lines in it, you can feel the flakes. It is the texture of a goldfish, but very much gouda-like cheese. You like Gouda, you're gonna love this. You really will. Your breath will definitely yeah, your your breath won't like you. Or the people who you talk to afterwards might not like you much. But at least you'll be full and feeling good. So let's go on. Oh, we're so excited to try this one. Stroop waffles. They included two in this box. There's two different kinds of Stroop waffles. So um I've been doing some research on this country. Well, you know, before we get these boxes, I like to look up some information on the countries and what they eat and, you okay? <laughs> um, so, I got to see, like, what they eat, you know, with the fish, with the onions, and you eat it like that, and, um, got to see Stroop waffles be made. Which one do they have first? That is the half chocolate. Caramel. So there's just one of these in here. Chocolate covered spice waffle cookies with caramel filling. We're not gonna fight over it. So if you don't really want to have the camera not getting up to go Okay. Alright. Keep in mind. It was hot when we got this. It took a few days for me to record, uh, record because I wanted to refrigerate these because they it was very melted. Um, but so you can kind of see the caramel hanging out of there. Um, Chocolate covered soup waffle. Um, you want to break it? Thank 
Here you go. Thank you. I'm just going to break a piece here. Now that that's gone. <laughs> Lots of caramel. I watch these get made on Great British Bake Off. I think it's like season six or something. But, um, I watched them make those. A little cookie or shortbread or whatever. All of theirs came out. The, the caramel, the grain, it was, the sugar was too grainy. But these people have perfected their recipe, so we don't have to worry about that. And they weren't being timed either. All right. You want to introduce our next while I lick the chocolate off my fingers? The Roste or the Rost Orange Pastels. Okay. It says all around the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's milk chocolate with orange flavor. See, he knew what I meant. Let's see. All around the world. Netherlands. There we go. So it's going to have like some orange in it. Orange and chocolate. We like orange and chocolate. I like orange and chocolate. I call it orange fever. It says country's wild obsession with color orange. Mm. I do love a centricity smell. Orange air sauce or something. Yeah, they look nice. Got the logo on it. Kind of looks like it says. like an orange? Oh, yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. yeah. You can smell it. It's just solid. But it's There's little pieces in it. You can smell the orange. I can feel it. Like I'm biting. I hope it's orange zest. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. 1863, they've been eating citrus flavored chocolate. It's amazing. 10 for me. I really didn't think I like orange and chocolate, but this is pretty good. We had the ones before it had the orange peels covered in chocolate, and you weren't a fan of those. No. And I was okay with that because I got to eat them all. That's a 10 for me. That's really good. Really, really good. Really, really, really. All right. Here's the part that I'm scared of. Let me clear. I don't want chocolate to melt onto that. Let me just move that over. Clean that up after. Okay. All right. Now looking forward to these, you guys. Um, I've told you I don't like blueberries, and I've told you that I don't like mushroom, and I, you know that I don't like tea. But it's time to add licorice to that list. I don't like licorice. Double I'm barely, licorice. I'm barely eating Twizzlers. Fruit and licorice gummies. Yeah, that's those bad boys so right there. So one side's black licorice, and the other side's a fruit. So I guess he's eating the fruit side. Let's look at these babies. And I ripped it from the wrong side. Okay. They smell like Kool-Aid. Can it smell? Yeah. It's well, just like breath. the pictures. You want to take this one? Take that one. You got different colors. Of course, I would pull out the same color. But so far, we got a yellow and a pink. Oh, yeah. I see an orange in there, but I'm just going to eat this pink side. It's not soft. It is not a soft gummy. Be mindful. 
I don't know what condition everyone's teeth is in. Teeth are in. Ooh, but the fruit side is good. The lemon's coming through really good. This? You want to take a piece of that there? This. I don't know what mm. No, take a piece. The raspberry? Um. It does not tell me the fruit flavors. Huh. Hmm. They I don't have know. Honey licorice, mint licorice. I guess they're into licorice. They really, they really like licorice over there. They really do. You know, I was asking people who like licorice, so I can know who I could give these to. We don't like licorice. People don't. We're not into licorice. A lot and people I know I messed up. are not into licorice. Yeah, you up. ate the licorice. Oh, I was gonna ask for the other piece. <laughs> I was thinking, uh, you know, licorice could be different. No. All licorice aside for that, um, I think the fruit side was so tasty. I give the fruit side a ten. I liked it. It's a little tough on the gummy, but um, yeah. Worth it. Ugh. Worth it. Worth it. It wasn't too bad, but I'm I'm not a licorice fan. No. We have spice cookies with peanuts and pearl sugar. Pollen cookies. Say hello to the ugliest cookies ever. Really. In Dutch. John Hoggle means ragtag which describes cookies crumbly texture and lumpy layer of topping look at that you want to do your break we'll just split that let's put this in the bag looks just like the picture yeah it looks like it'd be like hard like a neutral green oh it smells so good but it's like it smells like um, gram Teddy Grahams. Yeah. It's not that hard. It's like a glorified cream pear. It was really good. I was kind of thinking these be like the sweet club crackers that I make, but um, they are not. Take some graham crackers. My favorite. My favorite in the box so far. It's cinnamon, peanuts, pearl sugar. So good. So good. I would buy this at the store. Mm-hmm. Man. All right. Y'all can keep y'all's licorice, but I will take your ugly crackers. All right. So here's another one. Here's some more cheese. Raspberry cheese. <laughs> Roca cheddar and raspberry cheese crispies. Puff pastry biscuits with cheddar and raspberry pieces. You know, Universal Yum's also changed the layout on here. Because now it kind of just tells you, so I could just read it to you. I can just say cinnamon candy melts. Potato crisp with paprika. You know, I could just say it like it's right there. So, thank you, Universal Yums. I appreciate that. These are uh, the Roca Cheddar Raspberry. Let's see if it's like the Gouda crisps. Oh no, cheese and raspberry sounds crazy. Okay, kind of. Fell to pieces here, but some of them cracked. Texture. Yeah, yeah. The pe the pastry look to it, that puff pastry. Building up the layers. All right, I see the raspberries. You can see them there. Ooh. They're crisp, but not hard. They start to melt in your mouth. 
You definitely get the cheddar. Yeah, cheddar's there. Why is the... I can see the cheddar pieces. Look. You can see the cheddar. I didn't get no raspberry. I mean, I've seen it. <coughs> yeah, the yeah, raspberry, it's, it's only when you bite into it, it's when you, it's there. It goes away quick. Mm. Not bad. I give it a six. It could be a little more. That's fair. Yeah. As soon as you bite into it, it's gone. A six. Roka gets a six. So as I just said, we have the name I cannot pronounce, but uh, they are cinnamon candy melt. This one has no direction, so I can open it where I please. Uh, oh, no, wait. Cinnamon candy melts. Woo! Okay, yeah, that's cinnamon. I think, um... Well... I'm going to let Corey eat this one because if this doesn't open up his nose, I don't know what will. They smell like very strong mints, cinnamon candy, so. Oh, gosh. Like, you can smell it. Like, it like is. one of those old-fashioned candies. It kicks you in the face. Ah! Uh, I don't think you can bite it. I don't think you can bite it. I think you just suck on it. Translated to little cinnamon pillows. Has a soft melt in your mouth texture and unique fluffiness. Just like a pillow. Let me know when it starts to melt. It's a break from licorice. <laughs> okay. Not bad. It's what it says it is. It's cinnamon. I do like cinnamon. We used to like, I, I used to like the cinnamon sticks, those toothpick cinnamon sticks they used to just, man, back in the day. Well, let's move on. We have another Stroop Waffle. This is spiced waffle cookie with caramel, so it's a Stroop Waffle, but it's not covered in chocolate. And this is cool. They gave us two in this pack. Spice. So we'll taste it without it being covered in all that chocolate get to taste it for what it is Stroop Waffles I've been listening to so many people say it I mean really when people talk about the Netherlands when you hear about it you, Stroop Waffles is the first thing people talk about and then they have those little mini pancake thingies all right, I'm gonna try and take this out. They're pretty crumbly, but it looks so good. Look at that. Lego my egg. No, not an egg. All right. Let's. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to break it. I don't want to break it like that. These aren't supposed to be crispy. They're supposed to have a bend to them. It does have a bend to it made correctly i was just watching i'm telling you i just watched them make it i know how it's supposed to be it smells so good like maple syrupy hmm at first bite it's weird yeah it's like your brain and your tongue have to catch up to realize what you're eating when I first hit it, I'm like, I don't know if I taste it. Okay. Like it. Plus, I just hmm. got cinnamon all in my mouth, so. <laughs> yeah, your taste, bu taste buds are gone. <laughs> um. It almost tastes burnt. No. Know. No. Okay. The caramel's good because the caramel's not too sweet. I give that seven. Um, I think in America our caramel is way sweeter than this, so it's a subtle, but it's good. 
the the cookie piece the the waffle i'm sorry the waffle piece oh no they call it waffle cookie so the waffle piece is really good because um the texture it's really different because you think like it looks and it sounds like it's hard like a brick hard but when you put it in your mouth it just kind of starts to go with the flow and you're able to chew it so i think i like stroop waffles and you can you can buy them here in America. You can get them at grocery stores. So um, you don't have to go all the way to, um, to the Netherlands and just to get you some Stroop waffles. And they're really good, so you really might want to do it. But let's move along. So we have next Chio Pumbar Potato Crisp with Paprika. So, I love bears. I love bears. I collect teddy bears. You guys, I'm about to deck out my whole little area over here. So, bear with me. Because um, it's going to get hooked up soon. But you are going to see some bears. Because we went and I got my bears. My bear figurine. So, I can smell the paprika on that. Let's see. They look so cute. You want to get your bear? You can see their little. Let's see. Can you see the face poking through? Let's see. They're so small. You might want There's a little two, two eyes and a mouth. Let's be realistic. You got the yeah. arms poking out. Yeah, three of them. Cram them in the mouth. Little feet. But his head is bent. So he's like, uh. Paprika like. Hmm. Well, since we had two paprika chips, would you say those are better or those? I like this. I think I like the texture because they're thinner. They're it's good. And they kind of remind me of those. Like Dorito 3Ds, but with paprika? Because that's what I just got. Dorito 3Ds. Do y'all remember that? Go in the comment section. You can tell me if you remember that too. Those are 10. They get a 10 for me. Yeah, we'll eat that. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely eat that. Yeah. Let's move along. Oh, no, you guys. We're, we're getting close to being done. But don't worry. We're not there yet. We got some Flippies. Flippies cheese corn puffs. We eat things like this over here. Cheese corn puffs. Let's just see if they're Dutch. The little baby little baby puff doodles. Cheese puffs. No, no baby no, ones. No. Standard. Well what cheese is it made with? Can't go by taste, I'll tell you that. It's definitely not like the cheese puffs we eat. That's a different cheese. That or they don't coat them as heavily with imitation cheddar. I mean, I'm not saying Cheetos not using real cheddar, but I'm just saying these are not orange. <laughs> they have other languages, but not English. Oh, wow. I think they're good because they taste like cheese. I'm not uh, for flippies. Puffs. Without saying any specific brands. They're good. It's definitely a different cheese, though. I don't know what the double XL flippies mean. They're pretty small, oh, sorry. but they're okay. I give them a five. Just for being something to snack on. Right? If these are the double XL, how big are the regular ones? You know, like little itty bitty ones. All right, we're moving along. We've got sugar glazed pretzels. I actually only like sugar pretzels. Um, pastry dough and covered in sugar instead of salt. I only like sweet pretzels. Let's just split one. You want to show them so you can. 
pop it. Oh, yeah, they're a good size. No, already. These are puff pastries as well. Yeah. Yeah, I see the layers. Yeah. Hmm. Not crunchy, like. Oh. Says biscottos. Says biscotti here. Yeah, give them a. Give them an eight. I like the texture, the the sweetness is into that. Not as hard as a biscotti. And biscotti means by, twice baked, by the way. I learned that. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to educate myself. What would you give it? An eight. I like the texture. I, re I like really sweet things. It wasn't. Um, it didn't really taste like a pretzel. Um... I give it a four. Sorry. All right. I've tried these already. Butter waffle hard candies. He's gonna try it. So right off gate, and you can show them. Um. Right off gate, it really reminds me of um, butterscotch candies. These are hard, so side note to self, learn and be smarter than me. Don't chew on it. Don't throw it in your mouth and, and chomp because they're hard. Hard. Like she said, butterscotch. Yeah, like a butterscotch flavor. Very buttery. So yeah, it is what it says. It is a buttery waffle hard candy all right we've got some uh soft oh salt and toffee flavored soft licorice but they're calling them these are wagons soft so we've had wagons we've had cadillacs. cadillacs and i think we've had what buses yeah double deckers the double decker buses yeah, the half licorice ones. So, but I'm a little worried about these because these look all stinky licorice. Ooh, that side's really good. Huh. If you eat that light brown part, it's kind of like a cream. That part's really good. They look like they have ones that are whole. Oh, don't eat it. Don't eat it. I smelled it. I smelled it. Okay, that was a meltdown. That was disgusting. We had, mm. that was, mm, that was bad. That was bad. But we're back. No more licorice. No more licorice, please. No more. No more licorice. No. Sorry, another one. I ate the happy. licorice because I had didn't eat the tea and I didn't eat the mushrooms in the past few boxes. So I figured I'd be brave and do something that I haven't been. Oh, goodness, no, don't do it. But if you love licorice, you're in for a treat. Wherever you guys are out there that like licorice. As a matter of fact, if you do like licorice, go in the comment section and let me know. Because, um, I don't know if there's any people aside from in the Netherlands that like it. Because this is horrible. Sadly, you guys, we are now down to our... Yum bag. Yum bag. Oh. Yum bag. It's always the saddest part because it's almost done. But we always enjoy trying these different uh, different um, snacks and treats from Dutch the Netherlands best and from. Let me pull this out. So we got Dutch best pralines. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, 
five candies. There they are. In the Le Netherlands, the word praline is used to describe any chocolate with filling inside of it. Huh. Best Dutch pralines. Now, we have a few of these. There's some hazelnut, there's some regular crisp, and there's cappuccino cream. Sounds so, so good. they kind of look like what we have here. The brand is called the Fier Rocher. That's what it looks like. Oh, don't look at that part. Apparently it dented in. It's hot out there. This is uh the crisp. This is the crispy one. It has the crisp there on the inside. Oh, it's good. It's filled with cream. Oh, the cream is good. Cream and the little crispies. I love it. Mmm. I love it. These are good. These aren't going to last long. They gave us more. This is a crispy hazelnut. It's creamy, crispy. Mm-hmm. The chocolate just... Cappuccino. Oh, yeah. Mm. They don't stand a chance. Those are good. 10 out of 10. Definitely. Hands down. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I give them 10. I give it a 10. All right. Let's move down here. I know it's in a row, but let's get this one. This is the Holland Hoppies. This is coffee flavored hard candies. I hope it's like coffee and cream instead of straight coffee because I don't like straight coffee. I'm one of those. I like a little bit of coffee with my cream and sugar. So. I'm good. I think it's like straight coffee. I think it's not. It's kind of sweet though. Not so much like a burnt dark roast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> coffee, caramel, cream, butter. <clears throat> hmm. I mean, I know Willy Wonka. It's good, even though it is just like I can taste everything. the black coffee, but it's not like. Let's just say Dunkin' Donuts could probably make it candy. It tastes like they put a little bit of cream in it or a little bit of sugar, so it is sweetened. It's it's good. Um, out of ten, I'd probably give it an eight. I do like coffee, so that's that's good. What you got next, Corey? Read it out. Milk chewy. Soft milk candy. It says milk. I mean, if it's anything like a cow tail, I'll tear it up. Let's see. All I smell is paprika. Kind of got some ridges on there. I'm just gonna take a little piece. I wonder if it's like the inside of a cow tail. Hmm. 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 We've had this. Type it's of good. From something. Kind of tastes like the cream that was in that little um Dutch Best Praline, but solid form, like condensed milk, sweet and condensed milk, but in the texture of a cow tail. Or maybe it is the middle of a cow tail, but it's not. It's that breaks apart a little better. Yeah, like grainy. A, yeah. This isn't grainy at all. Hmm. It's really good. I give it a ten. I don't have any issues with it. What about you? No, but it's not the only kind of candy of that kind like that. We definitely had other. What? It's good. I like it. Let's move on to our next candy. I will do this one. This is a sour lemon hard candy. 
with a sour filling. I don't think I'm gonna get to that sour filling, you guys. But um, I like sour, so let's see. Oh, I can see the sour pieces on the outside. Ah. When it has that light powder coating on it. It's like cheating. When you put that powder on it, it's cheating. I want it to be sour because it's sour. Not because you put that. Like, what's those candies we got? I think, uh, I don't remember what month. But it was like the super sours. It says spelled with the Z. It was so sour. I think we even just spit it out like instantly. It was just like burn your mouth almost. And that's what I'm getting here. I'm kind of getting my mouth burned. Take that first layer of skin off your tongue. That's all I'm going to do. It's like a lemon head. Like a warhead. <clears throat> it really is kind of burning my tongue. It really is burning my tongue. Be careful if you eat that, you guys, because I'm not big on that. Napoleon's Wolf. This one? Wait. Um, we're just going to have to end it here. I'm sorry, you guys, but there's no way I'm eating this. Hard black licorice with a salty filling. I'll show you guys what it is. Right there. Hard candy. I can't. If it, if it, that's that's pretty much what I just ate in that gummy, except for this is a hard candy. So we are going to wrap it up there. Um, whew. Let's see. There's a little game thing here. A little easel answers. Next clue to next month's box. Next month there'll be dragons and firework displays. You'll hear bagpipes and carolers singing. I don't know what that word it does. Yeah, anyway. When the holidays roll around, it's always more fun to celebrate this special season with everyone. So Universal Yums has already revealed that it's going to be a holiday one. But it's not going to be from one country. It's going to be from a bountiful amount of countries. Yeah. Multiple countries. So... Oh, no. We will see. We will dragon, see. I think of China, but then again, Dragonheart and those movies it didn't really. These are the bomb. Shrew waffles were the bomb. If you had to pick one top thing out of all this, oh, for me, I would pick these. What are your favorites? The chocolate orange ones were good. I'm gonna say the paprika bear. The bears. Yeah. I like the paprika, paprika bear chips too. And they're so cute. I think because of the texture being thinner that it was that it was better. Oh man. What was your worst? Anything that was licorice is my worst. I didn't eat it. Mom was gonna say this is the nastiest thing. It's so deceiving. You're like, ooh, what is that? Maybe caramel? You know, I chewed on it for a little bit. I did. I chewed on it for a little bit and it smelled decent, but at first it wasn't even that at first it was just like, hmm, what is this? And then it's just like, oh, that was licorice. And then you can taste the salt. And then your mouth is just like, what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> Alright. So we thank you guys for watching. Um, we love doing the Universal Yums. We've been doing this for a few months now. And um I've been collecting my booklets, so I was thinking of maybe Going, making a video and going through some of this stuff because um, I really don't go through this with you guys. Not all of it. And they have very interesting things about other countries and even some things that I've learned on my own research. So, um, I'll give you a sneak peek. You guys see what's coming next. I have other boxes coming. And um, this one I'm fair. Make sure you can't. Oh, could you see it? Yeah, you could kind of see it. Stay tuned for this video. Oh, we got our hands on some reptile bars. Reptile on ice, clarify that. Reptile bars are green and they turn your tongue green. These are blue and they turn your tongue blue. So. And I love Rugrats. We love Rugrats. We grew up watching Rugrats, so. Of course, of course. So, I'm just going to put these up. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. And, um, 
continue continue watching. Come back to the Veely March channel. Tell your friends about us. Share these videos. Get the word out. We can start getting to some new locations. Once I know that more people are watching, then I know that um, I can put a little bit more into this. Because you guys, you don't know what I want to do, but I just need a few more viewers. So, help me out. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to go comment because I'm going to be reading these comments. I haven't gotten comments for a while, so I'm going to be reading these. We got to look for our VIPs. VIPs. So, thank you for watching. Click like. Corey made it. He didn't croak during the video. He was a trooper. So, round of applause. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.